So this is a healing um, that I did on this woman uh, who's in her 50s. And um, basically, when I tuned in for the healing, and once again, uh, as I mentioned in most of my videos, that you know they can tell me what their problem is, what they're looking to heal. But when I tune in for healing, I empty my mind completely. And I tune into the person's body wisdom, body intelligence, and uh, follow the guidance wherever the body intelligence decides is, is what the most important place to, you know, in, in order of priority, the highest, you know, the, the thing that's the cutting edge of their health issue, but also what's the safest, you know. So sometimes the person will ask for a certain certain issue to be worked on and the body wisdom's gone it's not really what what needs to happen first we'll get there but first we gotta focus uh on uh something perhaps that you don't really understand a much deeper uh imbalance that needs to be corrected first and then uh we could focus on um the specifics so when i tune in for healing for this for this woman Almost immediately, I saw that her auric feet were about you know, two feet above her physical feet, you know? So um, basically she was, you know, levitating. She was out of her body going up. You know, there's many ways people can be out of their bodies depending on the kind of traumas that they've had. Uh, in 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 you know in the past and potentially in past lives, but in this particular case, it was basically a vertical, being vertical uh, out of her body. But the thing about it, which is really kind of interesting as well, is she didn't go out the brain. She didn't go out the top of her head two feet. So this was kind of a little bit different. Actually, I I saw the brain. In, the brain looked great. I mean, it was really perfect the right size and had all the folds and, you know, so her mind was in great shape. But what was happening here is she, she was sort of scrunching up her auric body um, and, and she kind of looked like, you know, like a midget orically. And, and so with the, you know, with the correct size brain and head, but the body sort of really contorted distorted and and scrunched up smaller you know kind of look like a midget energy so you know obviously when i see something like that my you know my in intuition says you know you got to get those legs down you know and 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 it wasn't that easy i <laughs> the auric feet would just not go down but finally i started to understand and I started to talk, you know, with the person's body intelligence gradually. Uh, and, and this was really a question of, of um, courage, that this person um, had been uh, shrunken in their life. Um, they were sort of isolated and uh, feeling really like alone. And uh, also somebody who really cared about the world and politics and was feeling, you know, really kind of hopeless um, in terms of the um, situation on, on earth. And that combined with growing older and, you know, uh, all kinds of different things in her life were just sort of, you know, sort of putting her in, in a shell, you know, she was locked, sort of locking herself away and in, in this, you know, capsule this cocoon uh just kind of trying to protect herself um and also i she mentioned this a number of times you know in in the time that we've worked together that she 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 wants to leave the planet you know she doesn't want to be here and a lot of people a lot of my clients uh um have said this to me you know over the years and uh, this is a very spiritual person this is a person who who uh, you know has has studied many uh, spiritual systems, different gurus, uh, different paths, uh, healing paths. Um, not that this person is not a healer, but they've been to 
a lot of healers and uh, they've studied a lot of metaphysics uh, over many years. So, you know, there's uh, a lot of times with these spiritual people, they're delicate, you know, they're the more sensitive. Sometimes they're like very empathic, they're empaths, they pick up other people's emotions and feelings. And, and um, so a number of them say to me, you know, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> you know, God, when are you going to take me home? You know, uh, I'm tired. I want to, I just want to leave. But obviously when I tune into the body's intelligence, the body's saying, mm, sorry, you, you know, you still have a purpose. You have a mission. Um, not sure what it is. And she's not sure what it is, but you know, there's been inklings and signs over the years as well. Why am I here? You know, what's, what's my purpose here? Right now, I don't feel like I have any purpose. I'm just sort of, you know, isolated and, and retreating and uh, not really interacting much with the world and feel invisible, et cetera, et cetera. So basically I work with the body intelligence saying, sorry, we, you know, we have to bring you down and, and gradually our auric field stretch down and and uh, it was really a question of courage. This, the, 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 that was what I had to speak to her body intelligence about is the courage to come down onto this planet and plant her feet and, and, uh, and step into a, another version of herself that wasn't so scared and, and, and terrified and feeling, you know, victimized and whining and, and crying you know, um, about being here on earth. Well, you know, the body intelligence just saying, you know, that's why we're bringing in ZG to help you to, to, to fight that your tendency to, to not come down, come down to this planet and, and heal and, uh, embody your body and, and, uh, you know, uh, figure out and, and, and take on and, and hopefully successfully accomplish the mission you were sent here for, you know, from, from God, from the highest realms. So very interesting thing happens when I, when I finally got her auric feet down to her physical feet. It was a really unbelievable uh, vision that just happened. What happened is all of a sudden, I saw her as a goddess. She was a hundred feet tall, powerful, um, and 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 uh, and if and I saw the um, the uh, sandals with the with the leather the leather uh, straps going up on both feet, and then I followed the vision of the goddess up a hundred feet, and and it looked like she had a you know, a bow and arrow strapped around her auric back. Remember, she's in complete spirit body, a hundred feet tall, and and clearly felt Roman, clearly. And so I quickly looked it up, uh, you know, on the internet. You know, who was the Roman goddess uh, that that you know had had a, a bow and arrow? You know, the huntress. Um, and it, it, it was Diana, or another name for Diana is Artemis. And um, it's a really amazing vision. Now, when I see these kind of visions, and, and I have in a number of my clients, um, you know, obviously nobody can prove <laughs> anything. I mean, these are just uh, visions, but these are secrets locked inside the aura. And um, so was my client, the goddess, you know, or one of the goddesses or representative of the goddess Diana or Artemis in, in the past in ancient Rome? And, and you know, was there uh, temples built to her and, and devotees, um, you know, in those cases, sacrificing goats and cows and pigs and doing, all, you know, doing their rituals and, and uh, coming to this particular goddess for the qualities that, that she, she helped humans with. Now, what I saw originally um, 
which was a little difficult to to uh, embrace because I you always want to feel like you know a goddess is going to be uh, this incredibly beneficent, helping, loving, um, you know, sp spirit. Uh, you know, really, really committed and develop and and devoted to helping humanity. But in this particular case, you know, this vision that I had in in my client's aura at this particular point in the healing. She was looking down at humans and with kind of like disdain. See, she was just like, why are you bothering me? You know, I saw like, like people down there, you know, 100 feet down, little, little, little humans in, in this temple devoted to her. But, you know, she don't ha she don't want to be around there too much, but they keep praying. And so she, but she's looking down, you know, and saying, you know, really what I felt like, she was like, hey, I'm up here. I got friends up here. Um, you know, uh, I saw her uh, actually at some kind of, uh, you know, uh, alcohol, you know, uh, whatever they called it back then, um, you know, s some kind of, uh, you know, auric alcohol drink and, and, and sort of hanging out in these grottos, maybe with who knows, her pal, maybe it was Dionysius or Bacchus, you know, or some of the other gods and goddesses. But this was, and this was kind of her realm and, and she was happy to be up here. Like this was, these were where she belonged. And, and I also saw that she was also on the lookout too. This was the huntress part of her, that she was, she was always sort of on the lookout for rogue spirits, rogue uh, spirit animals, uh, mythic, kind of animals and, you know, with strange uh, features that were, you know, maybe causing trouble, creating, uh, you know, discord in the heavens, so to speak. But as I stayed with this, I also saw like her eventually just saying, all right, you know, um, and, and, and she would then focus on the, the, the little teeny earthlings praying at her temple and she would she would finally say all right you know and 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 at that point she when she was she was hanging out mostly at the sixth level of the aura i call it the lower astral it really wasn't it, the lower astral is kind of um it's great it's it's a gradation you know the the lowest part of the astral which is just above the fifth layer of the aura into the sixth is where sort of the darker beings hang out but as as you go up and up and up in in the sixth layer in the in what I call the lower astral, but then it turns into the you know the middle astral, uh, you know, and then the and then the upper middle astral, and pretty much she was hanging out just below you know a little bit below the the heavenly layer of the seventh the seventh layer of the aura where the angels and archangels and ultimately. Uh, God or, you know, the ultimate being in the universe uh, hangs out. So she was hanging out at the, you know, in the sixth layer, but at the upper part of it. But she was also watching the whole sixth layer for these other rogue spirits and rogue, uh, you know, mythic beings that are creating trouble in the, in the heavens. But when, when she finally decided to, to say, all right, earthlings, uh, you know, I'll come down, all right, you know, what, here I am, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere, I'm really going to listen to you, I'm going to, I'm going to take my responsibilities of being uh, a servant of humanity, and at that point, uh, her, her energy became much brighter, and uh, I saw some, some angel wings count, come out a bit, and, and at that point, she moved up uh, orically into, a little bit into the seventh layer, and and then she you know focused on the earthlings so this was a this was important to understand because um uh you know she she was uh, normally just you know really withdrawing and and hypersensitive and not really wanting to be on the earth but part of the reason for that was because she was so much bigger she was like a really powerful and important spirit being 
in, in you know in the universe in, in the upper echelons of, of the auric the auric plane and so uh, that's when she was in her full power you know um, but here on earth she was just you know cowering and then hiding and living in a little shell and not really wanting to be here but when i pulled her down and then she went then we i saw this vision of her as this as this roman goddess then i was able to integrate that and 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 then bring her back into this world you know be here now as ramdas said come on down and and take that courage take that diana and artemis dignity and power and fearlessness bring it down bring it down onto the earth and that's what her body intelligence was was talking to me about and and we were working with her auric skeletal frame to 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 strengthen those bones you know this is part of the reason one reason why people get weak uh you know uh, uh, you know arthritis and osteoporosis in, in particularly in the leg region in this particular uh, case, you know, if, if the spirit body is not inside the physical body, eventually the physical body is gonna, gonna break down. It may take more than one lifetime. It doesn't, you know, the things that happen energetically don't always manifest immediately in the physical. But in this particular case, um, we, we worked with the auric skeletal frame and the bones and gave it some beautiful strength. And, uh, and at the same time, communicating, telepathically communicating with, with our whole being, saying, you know, bring down that Diana Artemis courage. Come down. Forget about, you know, the, I, the identity that perhaps you know, other, other uh, people in your life uh, or other, you know, past lifetimes have sort of made you feel unimportant, made you feel invisible, made you feel, you know, like you have no power, you have no strength. But we're telling you, we're, we are excavating this massive power, this massive courage. Of course, it was on the spirit plane, but now bring it down and, and, move into get you first you got to heal you got to get your power you got to get your confidence get the messages from the from the the divine realms the spirit realms that you're supposed to be here you have a purpose and and you know that that to uh to start to uh, you know empathize with humanity because you're human you're not a goddess anymore come on down and 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 commune be one with with your species and and get your mission you know with the power of the universe you can uh do battle uh like diana and artemis up in the spirit plane you can with the help of the universe doing what you're supposed to be doing being of the bodhisattva path which if you don't know that term and the way that i'm using it anyway is is you know a, a an enlightened being you know like a, like somebody who's you know attained great great uh, enlightenment like the original Buddha Siddhartha um, that you, you instead of hanging out because you're enlightened you know you don't need to come back to Earth to you know come back to the karmic wheel and keep learning. Uh, lessons over and over again now you've you're able to to not come back because you've you've mastered a whole range of of important learnings in the universe but uh that's that's a buddhist enlightenment and buddhist consciousness um but the bodhisattva the way that i understand it is somebody who says okay well uh you know i could sit on my laurels and hang out in paradise on the on the upper beautiful seventh layer planes of reality and and bask in in the light of of heaven or i could come down and and help humanity help the universe help you know the, the evolution of consciousness in the universe um so uh that's what we did during this healing we brought her down and um you know <laughs> 
this is one healing with one person. Um, this person has a tendency to, you know, to move back into fear, back into a lot of these, um, you know, diminished uh, identities. <clears throat> uh, so this is not a permanent situation, but once again, every healing that, that you know, goes against those uh, self, you know, uh, diminishing, self-hating, uh, um, self-defeating tendencies of somebody, every healing that goes against that and, 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 and correct, you know, corrects, even if it's just for, you know, a day, a week, even a month, corrects the auric field, that's reprogramming. You're reprogramming eventually, you know, it doesn't happen immediately. The cells have to learn to do it themselves. The person has to understand, you know, the, the, the consciousness, they have to understand what's happening. And again, as I've mentioned in other videos, they just the knowledge, me, me telling this person, you know, you're, you're an ancient Roman goddess, or you're, you're connected with some amazing, powerful, hundred foot tall spirit, you know, goddess spirit. And, and, you know, so stand in that power, bring it on down, um, connect with the universal will. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll be, you'll be in alignment with the universal will and, um, you'll feel good. Hopefully the, all the healing, you'll feel good in your body. You'll have corrected, uh, you know, uh, identity, uh, uh, self, you know, self identities and, and, uh, you know, feelings about yourself that were, were not, you know, noble and not, uh, positive. And, and so you've correct, you're correcting your whole being, you're reprogramming your whole being, um, you know, to serve and, and to love, to love your, you know, love everything, you know, just fall in love with with being this and with serving um and helping so all right